guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I recreated a Mr. Kate DIY. Before I moved into my condo, I knew that I wanted a campaign dresser somewhere in the space. Unfortunately, the one that I wanted was completely out of my price range. So I was super excited when I saw Mr. Kate created this DIY steampunk dresser, and it was very similar to the campaign dresser that I was in love with. She made it really easy to recreate, so I decided to share with you guys how I attempted a Mr. Kate DIY. Well, I thought it would be a cool idea to watch how Mr. Kate created her project, as well as show you guys how I followed those steps. So I'm gonna be watching here on my laptop and you guys can follow along. So let me walk you through the supplies. You got your dresser. We're gonna paint it. And I have this beautiful dark blue color. So Kate used a really pretty blue color for her dresser. I decided to go with a black color that I will um, put the name of the paint it's down here at the bottom um, for you guys. But that really went with my decor a little better. I love the color black and I thought a matte black would be perfect for this dresser. So the dresser that Mr. Kate used for this project is actually from Ikea. So my dad and I headed to our local Ikea here in Atlanta so that we could pick up the dresser as well. with just some regular old knots. Oh, no, no. I've got cup pulls. That is what these are called because they look like little cups. You put them on your dresser or wherever and you cup your hand underneath to pull out the drawer. So those are beautiful kind of burnished brass pulls. So as you can see, Mr. Kate used cup pulls to replace the hardware in this project. I believe she got hers off of Amazon and they were a bit more of an aged brass, but we were actually able to find some brass cup pulls at Ikea that were, that were a bit more of a shiny brass. Um, so we went ahead and picked the ones up at Ikea. They came in a two pack and I will link those down in my description box if you want to pick those up. So my dad and I went ahead to the warehouse of Ikea to pick up the parts for the dresser so that we could get home and start building. shaped pieces of brass with screw holes in them and I'm going to use these on the corners of the drawer to give it a kind of more like a vintage piece and you're going to be able to see the screws it's going to give it a little bit of an industrial edge so as you can see Mr. Kate used some L corner brackets to go in each corner of the drawer faces and I was able to find some on Amazon that looked like this um, very similar to hers and they came in a pack like this um, screws did not come with my L brackets however we were able to find some gold small gold wood screws at Lowe's so that's the plan it's pretty simple just got an L paint so now that we had all of the supplies that Mr. Kate used for her project, it was time to get started. Um, but of course, before painting and doing all the fun stuff, we had to build the dresser. <laughs> I'm going 
gonna use one of these foam pads to apply the paint. What I love about these is it's a nice large surface area and you can get a really smooth stroke over this wood green. So I'm just gonna use this on all of the larger areas and then probably go in with a brush on the small area. I'm going to get this entire body of the dresser painted and then I've also laid out all the drawers here because it just makes it so much easier to paint them when they're not inside the dresser. And then we'll let it try and we'll get to the brass. The drawers are dry, the body of the dresser is dry, and now it's time to attach our beautiful brass accents. Got this cup bowl now fitted into those holes, and I'm gonna secure it to the drawer with the screws that come with the cup bowl, but look at how nice that looks, you guys. just going to screw them into the pre-drilled hole. So now I just have to repeat this whole process with the cup holes and the corner brackets to all the drawers and I'll be done. So this is what Mr. Kate's project looked like. And this is how my project turned out. You guys, I absolutely love, love, love how my dresser came out. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm so glad that I found Mr. Kate's DIY so that I was able to recreate it on a budget. I hope you guys like this project and I hope that you're inspired to recreate a DIY on your own. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.